Hello everyone, today we have new video review and as you can see this time we are going to check fresh release from Miniard. It is modded in 135 scale and it continues a recent series of B-type omnibuses. As you can see this time we have a civilian version, you can see it on the box art. And this is a commercial sample so it means you will get exactly the same stuff as what you will see in this video review. As you remember previous release was uh, copying the military version this time we get a chance to copy a bit more civilized version maybe some others will like it more nevertheless box size here is typical here you can see comparison with my hand then on this side we have some information about the kit and also address of the manufacturer in case you would like to visit them and then on the other side here we have profile for the same marking option as the one you saw on the box art here so let's open it and here is what we have inside so as you can see a uh, really impressive amount of spruce packed into the one plastic bag then we have assembly menu on the bottom we will check it a bit later I would like to start with plastic spruce obviously so this is a sealed plastic bag I need to open it with scissors just give me a second and we will check everything closer together in this video in the meantime, let me remind you that we are a non-profit channel, so if you would like to support us to help us develop our photo and video reviews, you can use the donate button on our website, or we have the special Amazon link in the video description below, which is even more easy to use because, I mean, you just buy what you want and we get a small commission from this, so you are helping us without actually spending some extra money but if you would like to spend extra money we have the donate button on our website okay so here we have first envelope as you can see uh, here we have mini art logo let's open it and inside we have p fret which is quite tight fit so just give me a second to remove it okay so here it is so, as far as I can see, here we have new set of parts, because in military version we had different parts, different P parts. And as you can see, this is unpainted P thread, so you have to apply all those parts, cover them with primer, and only then paint them into the necessary shade. But still, it is quite nice to have such bonus out of the box, you don't have to spend extra in order to get it. Next, we go on with first plastic sprue. So that's the frame let's say which defines overall size of the box so let's zoom out a bit now you should be able to see it overall uh, to have overall look let's say so what do we have here body panels also we have here the leaf springs we have some um, engine parts actually a gearbox we have chassis bars as you can see those are quite long parts and they're molded as one piece elements what should make it easier to handle them and to assemble something with them but overall molding quality seems to be fine I do not see any flash signs here so I think it will be easy to separate those pits and glue them together okay next we go on with another white plastic sprue collection let's say so what do we have here is the minor elements for the engine and gearbox as far as you can see also some of the suspension parts again amount of parts is impressive some parts are really tiny here you can see comparison with my fingertip so it's better to have uh, all the necessary tools, all the special tools, tweezers and some other handling things because otherwise it will be a bit tricky to apply all those parts into the necessary spot. Next we continue with another plastic screw and here the most noticeable thing is now uh, this pair of leathers so as you can see they're molded as one piece elements and they're slightly raised over the surface. Also here we have the lower tub, we have roof panel, we have side panels, we have this side railings for the leathers and if we flip it over here you can see that parts are detailed from both sides so it's really cool it's not like that we get detailing only from one side because it's not visible from the other. It's really nice to see that Miniart actually thinks about those 
moments and we get everything properly detailed. Next we have three absolutely identical plastic frames so I will show you only one. Just give me a second. So here we have various seat parts which will be installed inside. So as you can see we have quite nice um, let's say soft surface copied here and it would be good to play with painting and weathering techniques in order to get a more or less convincing finish as a final result of such assembly. Next we go on with the special railings I guess they will be installed on the rooftop okay next we go on with white plastic frames and just give me a second I need to understand yes they are absolutely the same so we have here four frames and they are absolutely the same so I will show you only one here it is let's zoom in a bit okay so what do we have here is the uh, parts for uh, seats again and here I can note that we have minor amount of flesh around those parts so you have to use sharp knife in order to clean it and again overall I do not see any other issues here so I hope it will be easy to clean all those parts and get them ready to be built together. Next we have those two plastic sprues which I was recommending to check in the previous review as you remember in my truck or my omnibus they arrived broken so here as you can see they are intact and those parts are molded as one piece elements so it's better to check them if you have a chance at least just remove the plastic bag and uh, I mean without opening the plastic bag still you will be able to identify if they are broken or not okay next we have plastic bag with clear parts and also decal sheet so again I need to use scissors in order to open it because it's a sealed plastic bag so just give me a second okay we remove all this stuff so first of all we have here clear plastic frame with various lenses for headlamps and tail lights as you can see they look quite nice Next we go on with decal sheet. So here we have two decal sheets actually. Both are printed in decograph and as you can see they will be used in order to copy several marking options. Printing quality is really nice so I don't think that you have any possible issues here. And also here we have pair of identical plastic frames. So they are molded in a quite nice quality. So the only thing you need here is masks because masks are not included and you have to cut all stickers with your own hands. As far as I know there are no aftermarket upgrades which will actually help you with this thing. Next we continue with this small sprue. I guess it will be used for the engine compartment. Let's move on, just give me a second. So um, also here we have two identical plastic frames so I'll show you only one and again we have here quite tender set of parts. Why? Because those are one piece mud guards. As you can see they are molded already bent so that's why you have to be careful while separating them and note also those wheels which will have to be glued out of several parts which is quite unusual I would say but it's still more than welcome especially in comparison with vinyl parts which we are used to see in such kits okay I'm just placing it aside and last but not the least is this plastic sprue so as you can see here we have this foam which should actually protect all those thin parts, thin railings. We also have those side panels and side panels they do not feature any wooden texture just like on the real subject. I can zoom in so that you can see it here and of course if you would like to have it and I mean nobody stops you from playing with painting techniques in order to copy the wooden texture on your model. Next as you remember we have also the assembly manual so just give me a second. So assembly manual is surprisingly thick 
So I guess we will have to do a lot of assembly steps. Let's zoom out a bit more. Close the lens. Now you should be able to see it. So here we have short list of the features. Three options for the rear advert. Quite surprising. Um, so marking options. Here we have London late, London late 1910s. Also late 1910s. Another marking option. Next we continue with parts map here and as you can see almost all parts will be used. I mean I don't see anything marked as non-used or unused. So assembly process starts with engine then we continue with main chassis. As you can see we'll have to combine a lot of bars together so be ready to check the alignment because otherwise you might end up with really wonderful looking assembly. Next we continue with leaf springs, wheel axles, then we start to assemble the uh, radiator here. We install all this stuff on the front area obviously. Then we continue with wheels assembly. And next we install the steering wheel, pedals. Here we install some lever, I guess this uh, brake lever or maybe gearbox, who knows. I mean, you can write it in the comment section. So here we assemble the passenger compartment walls. And as you remember, there will be a lot of clear parts. So be ready for this. It will be a lot of masking because uh, we do not have any pre-cut masks. We do not have any templates here. So you have to do everything with your own hands. Next, we continue with side walls again. Then we assemble various bars and railings. Those seats, the wooden ones, they will be placed on the rooftop, so on the second floor, let's say. Next we continue with installation of whole floor or roof on the bottom part and then here you can see the rear section and it means assembly of the ladder which will be installed from both sides from both ends and as you remember it is molded as one piece element here so it should be a relatively easy procedure. Here we have the front mud guards or wheel arches which are also molded as one piece elements. Then we continue here we install the whole passenger compartment on the chassis. We install wheels into the place. That's I guess the side panel for the luggage and next we have also the advertising options for this bus here as well so as you can see all those elements can vary and what you can actually use for adverts is those uh, paper cutouts as you can see they're white from another side so you just cut them out and place on your bus which is quite funny I mean even though this is not a decal so I guess you have to use white glue but still it's really cool to have several options out of the box, Lipton's T as you can see. So as I said before this kit should be already available for purchase on Modelimax website so if you would like to get it ASAP just go there. Of course I will be happy to hear your opinion about this kit here in the comment section below. If you like this video don't forget to press the like button and also subscribe to our YouTube channel and I will see you in the next video review as usual. Thank you for watching and bye.